Hey everybody, today we're going to check out Clocks by Coldplay, a really easy song that I teach beginners all the time. Generally you can walk out of one lesson and have this whole song under your belt. So check it out. There are only three different shapes that you need to learn for this song. So let's take one hand, we'll take the right hand, and we'll try this first. Locate middle C, right here before the two black keys. It should sound like this, not like this. These are too high, so middle C. And what we're gonna do is count up C, D, E, F, G. Okay, G is gonna be our very first note. So with your right hand, use the thumb to hold on to a G. Use your index, or finger two, as we call it in the piano world, to play B flat, which is the black key between A and B. Hold these two. And then use your pinky, or finger five, to play E flat which is between D and E, right here. So all in all, you have G, B flat, and E flat, okay? So you have a chord here, which is just a group of notes being played together. This is called an E flat major chord, okay? So get used to this, having it under your fingers, pushing all the notes together, making a nice clean sound. Just try it a few times. So that's about a third of the song, believe it or not. So once you have that, try this. Right below the G where you were, go down to F with your thumb, use your middle finger to play B flat, and use your pinky to play D flat. It should look like this, and just get used to that. Now once you do that, don't forget to go back and review what you did previously, because otherwise, it's gone. So, this was our first chord, G, B flat, E flat. Here's our second one, F, B flat, D flat. So there's one remaining chord that you have to do. You're gonna keep the thumb on F, middle finger now goes on A flat, pinky goes on C. Get used to that. And your three shapes are as follows. One, two, three. That's the entire song. So now what you want to do is copy and paste that to your left hand. So while playing what you learned with the right hand, copy it an octave below. You can see I have the same notes here. Pinky, three, and one tend to work out best for most hands, unless you're an alien. And then the next one, this tends to work out well with five, two, and one, like that. And the last one is five, three, and one, a perfect mirror image of the right hand, which is one, three, and five. So try these together a few times. Now for the next step, we're going to change one little thing, which is take the second chord and double the length of the chord. So let me show you what that means. Right here. Okay, we want to do this because when you listen to the song, it doesn't go... too soon. It goes. Right, so they stretch out that second chord a little bit. It's two measures long or two bars long. Okay, so at the end of the day, once you have that, you're ready to roll the notes or arpeggiate the notes, which just means playing the notes of the chords uh, one at a time and rolling them. So you can see I'm taking the shapes I taught you and I'm rolling the notes from top to bottom like this. But notice I don't complete the roll on the third time. So one, two, I stop sort of midway here. So that's the pattern, so you get eight notes. 
do the same thing for each one. Again. And finally. Like that. is work on it for maybe a couple of minutes, couple of hours, couple of days. Everybody learns differently. Some people might take weeks. It doesn't really matter. And when you feel that that's easy, boost your tempo up a little bit and try. That's the entire song. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.